Men's basketball is 2-2 two two on the season after dropping a pair to Florida State and Notre Dame over the weekend in the Coaches vs. Cancer Classic in Brooklyn, New York. BYU hosts UT San Antonio Wednesday night, 9 o'clock Eastern, right here on BYU TV. It's critical time for the men's basketball team as it launches into the new season and gets a good look into the future. Head Coach Dave Rose back with us on True Blue. Good to see you again. Hey, good to be here. Pre-Thanksgiving. What did you learn about your team back in New York? Well, I, th I thought we played a lot of really good minutes uh, on the floor. We we obviously weren't good enough to uh, to win either game, which is uh, you know a little disappointing. I think disappointing to our staff and to our players. Uh, uh, I think we learned that uh, we're a better team right now when Brandon Davies is on the floor, right. and in, you know out of the eighty, he played less than half of the eighty minutes that we played back there, and so. There's a lot of things we can learn from that, uh, keep him out of foul, foul trouble and get him on the floor. I, I think that uh, um, we got a lot of shots that uh, we normally make, shots that uh, we want to get and we didn't make them. So we got to learn that in those situations, uh, how else are we going to score? What else are we going to do? Some adjustments. It's early in the year. Uh, I felt that they were two really good teams. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the Florida State game got away from us, but that Notre Dame game, we had a real chance to win, and we got to build on that. Those look like two teams that are typically your first-round opponents in the NCAA tournament, style-wise. And, and, and it felt very similar in a, a big arena, kind of a neutral crowd. Uh, the lights were pretty bright for a lot of those guys, for yeah. a lot of our, our new guys. And so, uh, you know, we have a lot of confidence in their ability, and uh, we got a lot of faith in this team. I think this team's going to be really good. What we need to do is get back out on the floor uh, you know, play a good game, get a win, and uh, try and get back on top of things as far as our confidence is concerned. Looking at the scorecard from the weekend, you had a chance to do some things that were fun, take the guys to Times Square. How was that? Well, the first night we got there, uh, we let the guys go and at least see the city so they wouldn't sit there in the hotel and go through <laughs> our routine wondering, you know, what it's all about. And so the place we, we picked was Times Square, and uh, we were there for about 45 minutes, and... Uh, then we drove through the city, went down uh, to the, you know, the World Trade Center and uh, uh, back to uh, down to Battery Park. And so the guys got to see a little bit of the city and then over the bridge to Brooklyn, and uh, that's where we were the rest of the time. I know you got a couple of concerns, uh, where to find the third score and, and, and developing your point guard further in the here and now. But let's talk about the future because everybody you talk to thinks you've got a really good job for the next six to eight years by these recruits that, uh, that you have coming in. Let's talk about the class that you just announced. And we begin with Nick Emery. Jackson Emery was a, a big player for you. And uh, tell us about Nick, uh, highly touted uh, among the best guards in the country. Well, we're really excited about Nick. And we're excited about all our recruits. The, the, this class, I think, is is terrific. And uh, you know, with the addition of Kyle Collinsworth returning right. from a mission, I think that um, you know these six that's the six players are, are really going to be fun for Cougar fans to watch. But Nick is a guy who plays with a lot of confidence and plays on attack. And he's a, a threat to score with the ball in his hands. Uh, and it can is really quick. He's a fast. Uh, uh, not fast, or maybe faster with the ball in his hands as far as how he gets up the floor, uh, can get into seams, uh, cause problems for uh, his defender and a lot of the problems for the other defenders. Uh, and I think Nick is going to have a really successful career here from day one. I think he'll come here and be really successful. Eric Mika, one of his teammates of, uh, of Nick Emery. And this guy, an interesting story, was the water boy at Lone Peak High School last year because he had transferred over from Waterford. Really kind of a mystery to, to most of us except to you. Yeah, we saw, we saw Eric play in uh, um, the summer circuit and really was impressed with his size. His, but his style, I think, is what we really are impressed with. He, he's a physical post player. Uh, he loves contact. Uh, he, he's a very uh, athletic and skilled post guy. I think that uh, you know, Eric's ability um, in the low post to score right. and his ability in the low post to defend, uh, is, is, he's really got an uh, ability to, uh, and because he's so developed physically, a lot of guys you sign him and you think they have that potential, but I think Eric physically can step in and play uh, and be successful on both ends uh, you know, as soon as he gets here. Braden Shaw, we'll go up to Idaho and talk about Braden Shaw and what he brings to your program. You know, Braden is really athletic. He's a guy that uh, is a little slight. He's not as thick as Eric uh, or Luke, but he's, he's a guy who can really 
um, explode. He can get, you know, sh shoot a nice 10, 12 foot jump shot and then get in behind it. Uh, he really runs the floor well. Uh, I think he's a guy that is going to be able to play, um, you know, that four, three, four position for us um, as, he, as he develops a little bit with his perimeter game. But his ability to make shots uh, around the rim, his ability to block shots, his ability to rebound, uh, I think is really going to be fun for us. I remember getting to know Noah Hartsock, and he said, hey, wait till you meet my brother, and we're going to get a chance to see Jacob Hartsock. You know, and, and Jacob and Braden and Nick are the three guys who will actually serve missions right. uh, before, they, before they actually come play. So those, uh, it'll be a while for us to actually get them. But uh, Jacob is a guy who is very intense. He's, he's like, a little bit like Noah as far as his skill level is concerned, but he's a lot more athletic. And, and I don't say that in any disrespect to Noah at all, but, but Jacob has got uh, um, a lot of athletic ability where he can really rise up on his jump shot. He's a very good three-point shooter, uh, a good rebounder, and uh, I think Cougar fans will really enjoy watching him play. Tell us about Luke Worthington. We go to Wisconsin to get this guy. Right, and he's going to add some beef to you down low. Yeah, Luke, Luke and Luke will actually uh, enroll in fall, and so we'll have him on next year's team. And um, he is really physical, and he plays really hard. And I think those are the two things that we really like about him. He's a guy who loves to get in the post and kind of uh, knock people around. Uh, he's uh, was on. He was an offensive lineman on the state championship. They just won the state championship this past weekend. Uh, he's an all-region lineman, an all-district lineman, an all-state lineman. And so uh, he's used to contact. And Good. he loves to get into people and uh, kind of mix the game up that way. He's very skilled around the basket, a great passer. He's a really good screener, can roll, got great hands, can catch. I think we can facilitate a lot of things through the post with Luke, and uh, we're excited to get him here on campus. Well, I asked you this the last time you were here. It's, it's, uh, it's good to send kids off on missions. It's even getter, better to get them back. Tyler Haas is back for this season. Well, here comes Kyle Collinsworth in time for next season. I, you know, I, I think as, as you've been through here doing this for quite a while, it's it's kind of like a parent, you know. It's yeah. it's really good when they go on their mission, but it's great when they come home. And uh, <laughs> so we're excited for, for they, they have Kyle back. Kyle's one of those guys who uh, is really diverse in his game, but he is great with the ball in his hands, uh, loves to make plays for his teammates. That's a great quality uh, for us and for our team. And uh, we really look forward to, uh, to his leadership because that, that first year he played on one of the best teams that we've had here, sure. that experience that he had playing in the NCAA tournament, uh, making a run, I think that will, will, will be so good for the rest of the players as he comes home in a leadership role. We've seen him at the point and at the two guard and some at the three guard. Uh, you can put him anywhere, right? Yeah, his natural position for us is the point guard position. He's yeah. a guy who, uh, with his length and his size, his athleticism and his ability to make plays with the ball, uh, I think that, that we can post him up off a, a lot of things that we do uh, in that point guard position and mismatches down there for him will uh, really create an exciting style for our teams the next couple of years. All right, there they are, the six. So three will be in and then three will be out uh, to mix in and, and then you move forward. Good job. It, it, it's getting a lot of praise uh, nationally. I know it means more when they show up and make baskets, but <laughs> but it, it appears that the program is is getting better and better. Well, we're excited for the class. I. There's so much work that goes into, uh, you know, trying to sign, and especially, you know, when, when you have five players signed, that's, uh, that's a large class. And, um, you know, there's so much work by our staff, our coaches, uh, you know, just everybody who's involved in official visits, unofficial <laughs> visits, everything that goes through it. When you finally get that uh, paper signed and those, the commitment from those players, uh, you, you're really excited. And I just want to thank all the people who have been so uh, helpful in the process. Hey, and all those families, wherever they live, can watch their games on BYU TV. Yeah, so everywhere you, we go. you got a good racket yeah, going. Everywhere we go, these guys will have a chance to, uh, to be seen. And uh, the people who, uh, who really want to follow their career are going to have an exciting time watching them here at BYU. Congratulations. We'll see you Wednesday. All right, thanks a lot.